probably well, maybe 15 years ago when I was on the European intraday desk, I saw or noticed when I was doing my analysis of the Italian bond that leading diagonals would occur very often in the wave one position. It seemed to be a very uh, unique characteristic of the actual of the Italian bond. Well, over the years, what I essentially learned or have come to believe is that each financial market, every stock, every bond, every, every price chart tends to have its own unique personality. So if you're going to trade a specific market, I really encourage you to actually spend some time with it and kind of learn its rhythm, learn its personality. And a good example of precisely this characteristic, I think, is very evident with respect to DirecTV. Uh, ticker symbol is DTV. Now, as you know, with respect to contracting triangles or the triangle type pattern, we have three triangles essentially. We have the contracting triangle, the barrier triangle, and the expanding type. Okay, now the expanding triangle is actually a very rare pattern. And it forms less than, I would probably say, 10% of the time, maybe even less than 5% of the time. But if you look at this one market and this one price chart, you'll see a very high tendency to see the expanding triangle form. For example, here on the weekly price chart, this is a very nice expanding triangle, waves A, B, C, D, and E. And here's the nice move up or the thrust following that triangle. Here on the daily price chart, again, we see another expanding triangle. This is a very rare pattern, yet I, it's not too hard to just find two really good examples of this pattern, one on the weekly and again, one on the daily. And here's the expanding, notice again, the expanding trend lines. Ways A, B, C, D, and E. And even on the intraday basis, there's a, here's a, another example of an expanding triangle. Waves A, B, C, D, and E. And this is on the 10-minute level. So what do we know? We know that with respect to DirecTV, it has a very high tendency to form the expanding triangle, which in and of itself is a very, very rare pattern. But it really wasn't that difficult to find a number of examples of the expanding triangle in this specific market. In other words, part of the personality of this stock is the formation of the expanding triangle. Good questions might be, if, for example, if you like to trade the E-mini S&P, what are some tendencies? What's the personality of that? If you like to trade bonds, say, on the daily level, what are the, some of the personalities, the quirks, the likes or dislikes of the bond? Maybe you might have a, a price chart of, say, Google. In which case, whenever the market gaps, you see a high tendency of, uh, of the market trying to go back and close the gap. Because on some issues, whenever you see price gaps form, they do not show that high degree or that tendency to actually close the price gaps. So again, I strongly encourage you, regardless of whatever market you're looking to trade, spend some time with it. Markets are like people. And people are very different. The people have certain likes and dislikes. Some people like health food. Some people like hamburgers. Spend time with your price charts. Spend time with your market. Get to know it. And what you'll find is there's going to be a rhythm. And the more time you spend with that market, the more in sync you will be with that rhythm. And thus, I think it will improve your analysis and your trading. Thank you.